Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. For today's video, I wanted to do a following along to Selena Gomez's Beauty Secrets video on the Vogue YouTube page, if that's what you call it. I don't know, of course a lot of people have done this before me, I'm not the first one, but I did want to try Selena Gomez's. Since I've seen the video, I wanted to like kind of follow along and just do hers anyway, so course by the title you can see that this is the video we're gonna be doing I hope you guys really enjoy it I'm gonna do that today and I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's just jump right into the video I know in the beginning of the video Selena Gomez does her skincare routine I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do the makeup just to save time but I did like wash my face and put moisturizer on so that's all good before we start I'm gonna clip my hair back because I know we're going to be doing our makeup so and I'm really excited to do this because I love seeing how like they do their makeup you know so I'm really excited to do it on myself so we're gonna start with the video next I'm gonna be using my weightless foundation so I kind of just start by making dots along my face, my applicator kind of tends to, it'll follow wherever you put it. And blend that in. Okay, so she uses her foundation. Obviously, I'm not gonna have every product she uses in there, but I don't have her foundation. But I'm still gonna use a like any foundation I guess I would use. I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder foundation. This one's really good. I know hers isn't like full coverage, so this one's not full coverage either. I've seen like reviews of people doing it. So I'm just going to like do what she did and just put a little bit everywhere. Um, I noticed she didn't do, I don't know if she did primer before. Well, hopefully she did, but it's fine. I moisturize, so I feel like that's a good priming. I'm gonna go get my beauty sponge wet. <laughs> it's like she's starting to do it with the sponge, so she does like blend it in. She mostly rubs it around, but I don't know. I don't like. Let me do what she does. Let's see. I have a big old pimple. I might do like I'm surprised. I always have pimples. <laughs> so I'm done with my foundation. So let's see what she does next. Make sure that even in between, if you're if you have a tan or if you're checking something, I always kind of go in here okay. every now and then because. That's why I did. Next would be my weightless um, concealer. I change color all the time, so for instance, I'm going to use both colors, a little lighter and a little darker. I think growing up, I for sure... All right, so she does use her Rare Beauty Concealer. I do have my Rare Beauty Concealer, which I'm so excited. I'm in the shade 230N, so I'm going to... Put this where she put it i don't I, I feel like she put just put some dots underneath her eyes so now i'm gonna finish and see what else she does oh like makeup with a part oh and she does it with a brush too and so i'm gonna take this you know one. being in different facets of the industry it's been really fun to, to play with it because it's so it makes a character when you're on set it creates something magical when you're in you know music you can create stories with it and then for fashion, there's so many different ways that makeup yeah. sticks it's expressed. Even beyond what the, the what they're wearing, it's almost like it's a part of it. It has to be a part of it. So next, these okay. are my liquid blushes. Oh, by the way, this is my favorite called Joy. So I'm usually putting my blush towards the top of my cheeks. All right, so I don't have that. I do have a this is the love tint this is like a sample of the benefit one this is what it looks like it's really good it's really pigmented so i'm just gonna do what she did and put some on her cheeks and then see how she blends it out hung taught me that because it just kind of lifts your cheekbone a bit and it also okay. doesn't see kind of she... come in here and make you look all red and sunburned at least that's good Oh, and then she takes the beauty sponge, and then she. I was heavily it out. involved in the entire process because I also care so much about mental health, and I believe it's a part of your self-esteem. It's a part of how you see yourself, and you shouldn't have to have makeup for you to see yourself that way. But makeup isn't a joke. It's actually no. beautiful and yeah, it's wonderful, it and 
it brings people together and I have so much respect for that community because it's just it really is I just wanted to pause her real quick and show you guys I don't know if you guys can see but the two dots that I put the cream blush I don't know if you guys can see. I, print, I blended it out pretty good over here. But that's the only reason why I don't like this. Uh, uh, what is this? Love tint? Is because of things like this. It dries really quick and it stains really fast. Hopefully, like, we can get it to go away. Maybe I need to put just like a tad bit more. Maybe to blend it. Like, really want to try hers though. Hers look like so good. And that probably didn't help. <laughs> um, No, it kind of just made it worse. I don't know why it does that like. I barely let us on it. So, anyway, we're going to move on with the video. Alright. I'm going to use the okay. Benefit Lola Bronzer. Ooh, I, I have that. this a little bit around. Okay, I do have that bronzer. I'm actually surprised that she used that. The only thing is that I don't really like to bronze before I powder. Because it makes it really patchy. So hopefully it doesn't happen, but I mean like I can't really do much. She does it on her cheeks and on her forehead, so maybe like it won't be patchy. Just let it hope it not be patchy. I don't really want to like swipe it. I want to like pat it, you know? I'm not too worried about my forehead though because, you know, I feel like it doesn't ever really get that patchy. But I can feel like I can kind of like move it around now that it's kind of set. Okay, let's see what she does next if she still does bronzer. People do. And I kind of follow into this oh. three, and okay. then I do under the chin okay. and around it. As you can see, my routine is, is actually super simple. I'm going to use the Smart Jacobs palette, and I'm going to show you a little bit of an eye trick that I've learned because eyeshadow tends to be cr like kind of tricky for me. Yeah, me too. Oh, Got it. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the kind of nudish color. And I'm gonna go along the edge. Okay, so that kind of looks like a warm brown. So I'm gonna find a palette that maybe has the same colors as hers does. I'm gonna try and use this Wet n Wild palette that I got. It's upside, oh yeah, it is upside down. Use this Wet n Wild palette that she, I got from my Walmart video. And she had like a kind of like a smaller brush. I need to wash my brushes. She kind of puts that like, right along her lash line and then in her crease so i'm gonna do that with this shade down here i know it's not like exactly where color i need but it's pretty close Let's see. you could also use concealer before you put on eyeshadow to give it more of a lasting effect yeah um and <laughs> yeah. so i have my first glam okay so i'm gonna finish doing what she did. I don't know how high she put it. So I'm just gonna keep like, just kind of blend it on the outer corner. I feel like that's pretty close to hers. I feel like that's pretty close, you know? It's a little brown. Okay, let's see what she does next. I'm ever, and I'm so excited about it. It's been like a dream of mine. Oh, her own and jam room. So I know, me too. <laughs> loud music, clothes everywhere, just makeup everywhere. It's, it's actually really fun. So I'm gonna kind of go in that shiny and it has more of a lighter so she took like a like really light goldish shimmer so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna take um i'm gonna use this shade right here this little shimmer shade and just place that like where she's placing it i'm gonna play and go along with what she's doing what i'm showing you is how i'm going to be using this look in every single step i take you can kind of just stop here you can stop where I was, but this is kind of me transitioning in tonight. Okay. Oh, okay, so she's, I'm gonna finish up my eyes. I mean, like, yeah, like she said, I could honestly, like, walk out the door like this and be totally fine, it's not a problem. But she looks perfect, so, <laughs> I mean, she could do just about anything and look beautiful. So yeah, I guess that's how I'm gonna leave my eyes. And it looks like she's going into her brows, so I'm gonna like take my spoolie and then brush up my brows like she's doing. Brush them out a little. Okay. I feel like my eyes look pretty decent today. My next favorite process is my liquid liner. <laughs> like 
favorite, favorite. Oh, liquid liner. So I love this. This is something I wanted. To okay. Liquid liner. I think she's gonna use black. So let me get mine out. I don't have hers. I wish I had hers. But I just have the ColourPop liner. I really love. So let's see what she does. Be perfect because liquid liner can be such a nightmare. It can be really hard. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, let me do that. Too. I have tried to do the little like cat liner thing probably Ooh, this up. 16. So one trick that did stick with me and sometimes it works, but most of the time, you know, I'm just figuring it out as I go. Me too. Is <laughs> to basically start, if you're looking straight in the mirror, start where your eye where your eye kind of looks directly straight. Okay. Does that makes sense. And then I go underneath it. Create the line that I want. Okay, so I think she's saying like, look straight at a mirror. So I'm gonna get a mirror, not my big one, because this one's bulky. Brain mirror <laughs> that I need to start using again. So she does it where like she just looks straight and it just kind of makes a line out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Look how. <laughs> is terrible okay so there's my eyeliner i really don't like it at all to be honest but let's see what she does next so i wear my liner like this but again we're going gradually into day and night and next i go in a little more of course is to go straight in the middle next i'll probably be okay so she does eventually go like all the way on her eyes so i'm gonna do that real quick i think i feel like i haven't done liner in so long okay i feel like that looks kind of decent i'm gonna do this eye really quickly all right they're not even i don't think um i think this one's a little bit more dull Okay, that's fine. I'm going to leave it before I just mess it up some more. So let's see what she does next. Doing my luminizer. Oh, I'll put liquid. it on little areas around my neck or my shoulders, whatever I, I want to feel like shiny and cute. Okay. She puts it on her cheeks, on her nose, and on her lip, and a little bit above her brow. And then she, she blends it out with a brush. So... Okay, I have this really old, um, hopefully it's still good, uh, liquid illuminator. This is the only liquid one I have. So, this has to work. Let's see if it's even good. Oh, yeah, it's still, whoa, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, like, do what she did. She stuck it, like, oh, I need to look at my mirror. She stuck it on her cheeks, on her nose. Hopefully, this is not too dark. And on her lip. Oh, I think I didn't way too much there. <laughs> and then she took like a brush. Um, I'm going to take this brush right here and blend that in. Oh, I definitely put too much. And then she put like a little bit on her brow too. Like she went like this. So come on, blend. Does that look good? I don't know. That way too much on my brow. It's like, I feel like it's not blending into my skin and it's not. Oh. That looks really bad. <laughs> it dries. I think it's drying really fast because it's really old. Hopefully that's not the reason, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, we're just going to have to deal with what we have. i got to blend it out with this one, hopefully. That liquid liner looks so, so bad. <laughs> Let me see if I can, like, fix it. And kind of go like this and then do this myself. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Ah, I'm making it. I'm doing too much. I feel like I'm doing way more than Selena is. So I've come to the conclusion that I put way too much liquid highlighter on. I mean, I did put it way too low. So um, I can't really do much about it. So we're going to just finish <laughs> what she's doing. I've been looking on to do is that I've started doing the thing that I love. Which is highlighting. Okay. Which is what I grew up and I started to open up my entire mind to the possibilities of... The things I could do to help people, to bring people joy, or to make yeah. them laugh, or music that moves them, or all of that is genuinely brings me pure joy. So, 
I think that's just something that I've always, I've always just felt like, why stop? <laughs> you know, like why go anywhere else when you know you can just try new things? And that's something I've always been into for sure. You see the lighter, you see the blush. Oh, and mine you can't. <laughs> Actually, so so LA. Last looks. Um, this is just to ensure that everything. Oh, oh concealer. Okay, so she's going back in with concealer. Adjusted. Here is my watch. My thing keeps falling. But she goes back in with concealer to ensure everything. I think she did it down here. I'm pretty sure right there. I don't know. And right there. It's fine. But I'm going to do what she did and just rub it in to ensure everything. But I'm kind of glad she's going back in with this because I put too much highlighter on. <laughs> okay. We're still looking good. I need to put this like, um, I don't know. It needs to stay up. Glow touch up kit. This okay. is the sheet. Pull out. And the sheet. You can also bend this brush if you want to go into precise areas. Okay, so I don't have those blotting sheets, even though I do want to try them really bad. And I don't have the powder thing she's using, but I do have like a little benefit like pow compact powder and I do have this that I used to like powder my face with and so I'm gonna do what she did just like pat all the areas um and she she said I could crinkle it up but I think that's what she was meaning for hers so oh I think that's I think it's gonna be too dark I don't know I, hope not. I don't know if she went under her did she go under her eyes I don't know I forgot I wasn't paying attention because I was too worried about my powder being too dark I know she did use her blotting sheets on her like nose area, so that liquid highlighter liquid highlighter broke up my makeup really bad. So I think she just went like underneath her nose and everything. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and see what else she does. Perfect. Now Perfect. I okay. have lashes on, okay. so when I want to have a more of a look, I would go for Huda Beauty. Ooh, I wish I had lashes. that. So I will just probably put on a little bit. The lip souffles are pause the video anyway i don't have the huda i want that one but i am gonna go into my maybelline one because it has like a rounded one and i feel like i've seen that on like that one it looks like that so hopefully this is the same okay so now i'm gonna apply that mascara she didn't do too much, so I'm not going to, like, overload my lashes. Well, she also has fake lashes. I say I'm not going to overload them, but here I am overloading it. Right, and I didn't see her put them on the bottom one, so I'm not going to put them on the bottom, but it's fine. Like, it's not like a life or death situation if I don't put them on the bottom lashes. So let's see what else she does. She's pulling out lips, so maybe I should pull out some lip colors, too. Pull out these two, because I feel like they're going to be the closest. I don't know, do they kind of look like hers? This one don't, but I know she has a red one. Anyway, let's see. So yummy. They are I bet so they are. <laughs> I've so heard a lot of good is things. my signature red. I'm mm -hmm. showing you with this other color because for black pink. Um, oh, in the yeah. music video we did, I got to use this. Okay, watch this part. It's heavy. <sighs> okay. She looks so pretty, but I'm gonna do that too. Um, it's not gonna be as pretty as what she did, but um, I'm just gonna do my lips with this red, and this one's from Went Wild, so it might not match completely hers, but you know. Okay, well, it doesn't look completely like hers, but you know, we have some red lips on, so that's all that matters. All right, next. Okay. And final step is to final. do a little bit of this. I don't so this is that. my refresher spray, and you could use it before you put on makeup, after, during the day. It has this refreshing scent. Okay. Shake. I feel like makeup should be accessories. Yeah, it should be. 
uh, but I don't have hers, but I do have the Milani Make It Last, which I've been really liking. And she just spritzed her face and that was it, so. That's good. <laughs> And I think that's the end of the video. I'm just gonna let it dry because she didn't like fan herself off, which I wish I could do. But I wanna do like almost whatever she does, so. Yeah, I think that is the finished look. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun just following along with Selena Gomez's makeup routine. I feel like it took really no time to do this, honestly. Um, I feel like mine would take so much longer, but it's really fun to sit and to just see what their beauty routine is so i had a lot of fun doing this and i actually really like the look of course they're not the steps that i would have taken but it honestly looks like perfectly fine like and i really like it i actually like like the trick for the eyeshadow just going like straight out i actually like that and i like the red lip i don't really wear red lip but you know i like it and i like the foundation and everything it was kind of like a lot different for me there but i like the way it turned out and i don't even <laughs> did she do her brows did i miss that but we didn't do our brows but i still like it you know <laughs> hopefully i didn't miss it but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys liked it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below your thoughts and suggestions and i will see you guys in my next video bye